Proletarians of all countries unite. In the name of God Peron, welcome. Let's continue. The Eighth Commitment During any sexual intercourse, one must always remember about the possibility of having a child and, in general, remember about the offspring. Not a single preventive remedy, except for grossly harmful ones, completely guarantees against a possible pregnancy. Abortion are extremely harmful for women, and therefore sexual intercourse should find both poses in a state of complete biological and moral well-being, since the indisposition of one of the parents at the time of conception is severe affects the child body. The same consideration, of course, once and for all excludes the use of prostitution, since the possibility of contracting a venereal disease is the most terrible threat both to the biological heredity of the offspring and to the health of the mother. 9. Sexual selection must be built along the lines of class. Revolutionary proletarian expendency. Elements of lifting, courtship, coquetry and other methods of specifically sexual conquest should not be introduced into love relationships. Sexual life is considered by the class as social and not as narrow personal function, and therefore social class advantages should attract and win in love life, and not specific psychological sexual lures, which in the overwhelming majority are either a relic of our pre-cultural state or developed as a result the putrid effects of exploitative living conditions. Sexual desire in itself is a biological strong enough that there is no need to arouse it with additional special techniques. Since the revolutionary class which saves all humanity from destruction has exclusively eugenic tasks in sexual life, that is the task of the revolutionary communist healing of humanity through offspring, obviously is not those features of class sterile beauty that should reveal themselves as the most powerful sexual stimulants, femininity, crudely muscular and uh, mustachoined uh, masculinity which have little place and are of little use in the condition of industrialized, intelli intellectualized, socializing humanity especially when these muscular guys use a lot of pharma. A modern human fighter must be distinguished by a subtle and priceless intellectual apparatus, apparatus, great social flexibility and sensitivity, class courage and firmness. It makes no difference whether he is a man or woman, powerless, fragile femininity, which is the product of thousand years of slavery of women and at the same time represents the only supplier of material for quartetry and flirtation, just like mustachoid, muscular fisted masculinity, more needed by professional loader or a knight of the pre-army period than by a resourceful and technically educated modern revolutionary. All these features, of course, correspond to a minimal extent with the needs of the revolution and revolutionary sexual selection. The concept of the beauty of health is now being radically revised by the fighting class in the terms of class expendency. It was in the beginning of 20th century when the Soviet Union was born. And the class sterile, so-called beauty, the so-called strength of the exploitative period of human history will 
inevitably be ground into power by the body combinations of the best revolutionary adaptation to the most productive revolutionary expediency. It is not without reason that the ideals of beauty and strength in different social strata differ deeply and the aesthetics of the bourgeois bourgeoisie, the aesthetic of the bourgeoisie intelligentsia is far from appearing of the proletariat. It is necessary to achieve such a harmonious combination of physical health and class creative values that are most appropriate from the point of view of the interest of the revolutionary struggle of the proletariat. The personification of this combination will be the ideal of proletarian sexual selection. The main sexual lure should be the basic class advantages, and only of them will a sexual union be created in the future. They will also determine the class understanding of the beauty and health. It's not without reason that not only the concept of beauty, but also the concept of psychological norm is now subject of to such passionate scientific discussion. Favorite a number or letter of Elon Musk. Okay, 10. There should be no jealous sexual love life built on mutual respect, on equality, on deep ideological closeness, on mutual trust, does not allow lies, suspicion, jealous. Jealous has a several root and traits in it. Jealous, on the one hand, is the result of distrust of a love one, fear that he will hide the truth. On the other hand, jealousy is a product of distrust of oneself, a state of self humiliation. In jealous, there is a fear of others that is of one's own lies, a feeling of one's own insignificance and powerlessness, and animalistic and possessive approach. That is exactly what a revolutionary proletarian fighter should not have under circ any circumstances. 11. There should be no sexual perversion, no more than one or two percent of modern sexual perversions are truly of intrabiological origin, congenital, constitutional, while the rest are acquired, conditioned reflexes generated by a bad combination of external conditions and require the most presentient struggle against them on the part of the class. Any sexual perversion weakening the central sexual content is reflecting at the same time both in the quality of the offspring and in the entire development of sexual relations between partners. Sexual perversions always indicate a gross infection of sexual life towards naked sensuality, a sharp lack of social and love stimuli in sexual desire. The sexual life of a pervert is a devoid of those creatively regulating elements that characterize normal sexual relations. The demands of more and more variety dependence on random irritation and random moods become truly enormous in a pervert. The difficult of finding a partner who fully satisfies the needs of the perverted the fear of losing an already found partner, the difficulty of the task of pervertedly adapting him to oneself. In fact, multinting the partner is the name of one's pleasure. Frequent jealous, which is a perverted person, acquires an unusually deep and complex character. All this leaves the stamp of especially deep sexual preoccupation on the creative world of the perverted, constantly disfiguring his other spiritual aspirations. The class must try with all his might to guide the 
perverted into the mainstream of normal sexual experience. 12. The class, in the interest of revolutionary expendency, has the right to interfere in the sexual life of its members. The sexual must be subordinate to the class in everything, without interfering with the latter serving in it, it in everything. The chaos of modern sexual life is too great. There are too many absurd conditioned reflexes in the field of sexual life, created by exploitative sociality. For the revolutionary organizing class to accept this bourgeois inheritance without a struggle. 90% of modern sexual content has lost its biological spontaneity and is subject to the corrupting influence of a wide variety of factors from whose power it is necessary to free sexuality, giving it a different, healthy direction, creating expandient class regulators for it. Sexual life sees to be a private matter of the individual. As Bebel once said, but he did not live in the militian era of proletariat revolution, not in the country of the victorious proletariat, it means Soviet Union, and turns into one of the areas of social class organization. Of course, we are still far from truly exhaustive class normalization of sexual life among the proletariat, since the socio-economic prequisites uh, for the normaliz normalization have not yet been studied clearly enough. There is also a lot of fetishism in the biological interpretation of sexual question. Attempts at strict sexual normalization now, of course, would lead to the tragic absurdity, to the most complex misunderstandings and conflicts, but still there are general introductory milestones for the class correction of the sexual issue, for the creation of basic sexual direction. By sensitive, comradely advice, organizing class opinion in the appropriation direction, giving it art, valuable artistic images of a certain type, in these cases that are too rough, even intervening with the tr trade court, the people court, etc., etc., the class can now give the main impetus along the line of sexual selection, in terms of having sexual energy, in terms of socializing sexuality, ennobling, eugenizing, eugenizing it. The further we go, the clearer the pass on the issues will become the firmer, more distant and more detailed the class demands will become in relation to the sexual behavior of its members. But he will not only make demands, he will also create an environment condensive to the fulfillment of these demands. The extent of his demands will correspond to the capabilities of the new environment, the degree of its maturity and strength. Bain determinates consequences. Thank you for your attention.